1963, David Jensen played Dr. Richard Kimball on a television series called The Fugitive. He was falsely accused of killing his wife, and he became the fugitive, eluding police while trying to find the real killer. Now, in the TV show, the fugitive was the good guy. Not the case for the fugitives we're looking for today. We are back with Most Wanted Monday, Lieutenant Tim Robinson with Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Thank you for coming in today. Before we get to that, uh, seasons are changing, people are traveling, putting stuff in the car. It's a good idea to lock the car, is Yes, it? you know, especially this time of year when people like to drive with their windows down, they pull up at the store thinking they're gonna run in for a minute. All it takes is a minute for somebody to have that opportunity to reach in and take something and walk away with it. Right. The majority of crimes we investigate where somebody's gone into somebody's car, the window's been down or the vehicle's just been left unlocked. Yeah. yeah, people, it's rare somebody's going to break a window. If they do, they really want something in your car. But Yeah, right. and I mean, people yeah. even leave their keys in the ignition, don't they? Leave their keys in the, leave the, keys in the ignition in the car running. Oh, so, okay. And which is actually, you can get you can get a uh, traffic citation for that, believe it or not. Really? Yes, but folks, I've seen people walk into a convenience store, leave their car running unlocked outside. They're all, oh, this is Salisbury, but yeah. mm, if people are going to drive off in it. There's somebody looking for the opportunity. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of the fugitives you brought with you. You have yes, six. Yes, I brought six. So okay. I'm hoping that somebody knows something, anything, any clue. And some of these are repeat profiles. And when we decide to do repeat profiles, we are getting tips on these folks. So, but we just have not had the right tip. So that's why we're putting them out there because people know these. So if they're a repeat profile, it's because somebody knows them. We've gotten tips and we're hoping to get that one that's going to let it snap, let them catch, catch <laughs> them and latch on to them. Want to hear the handcuffs. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes you get an information and an address and find if they've already moved or they don't work there anymore. Right. So. right. Still looking. Still looking. All yeah. right. So first we have Blaze Delma right there. Yes, Blaze Delma, he's wanted uh, in connection with a, uh, originally, initially he was charged with forgery, uh, issuing false documents and theft. He was convicted of that and he violated his probation. Mm. So that has... Um, had the judge has issued a bench warrant for his arrest, which means that he's going to be brought back from the judge. And when you're charged with a violation of probation, you could possibly go back and serve any unserved time, any, any time that was suspended. Right. Um, but Mr. Delmo, we believe, is in Dorchester County. So any of your viewers in Dorchester might know where Blaze Delma is. Please uh, give crime solvers a call. We'd love to drive out and pick him up. Need Mr. Delma. All right, take a look at Keisha Latrice Ellison. Yes, Miss Ellison. Uh, she was convicted in a theft and a CDS case, and she violated the terms of her probation. So, if you know where she is, please give us a call right away. All right, next, take a real good look at Walter Lenny Floyd, Sr. Yes, yes Mr. Walter Lenny Floyd, Sr. Uh, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. He is wanted in connection with a bench warrant that was issued after Mr. Floyd did not show up to court to face a charge of theft. Mm -hmm. So... The judge issues a bench warrant to kind of help him get into the courtroom next time. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to come back, yes. please. Uh, this is a repeat, right? Carl Gregory yeah, Hammerbacher? Carl, uh, Carl Hammerbacher. We've gotten some calls on Mr. Hammerbacher. We just have not closed in. Um, so if you know where he is, again, he decided not to show up. So, again, the judge has issued a bench warrant to try to encourage him to come to court. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want you to take a good look at Marcus Dwayne Harmon. Marcus Dwayne Harmon. Uh, he is also wanted in connection um, with a uh, unpaid child support. So if you know where he is, please contact Harmon right away. All right. There's another chance for you to make some money. Emily Kathleen Hill. Emily Hill. Uh, she is wanted in connection with a DUI case that she did not show up for. So if you know where Mrs. Mrs. Hill is, uh, we still believe her to be right here in Salisbury. Please contact Crime Solvers right away. All right. No matter where they are, you can give yes. them a ride back. We will give them a ride back, even if they're in Delaware, even if they might be in Virginia. Please, you know, mm -hmm. w w we have no problem going to get them. And so. if you want a second look at them, their yeah. pictures they're, are they're on They're going Facebook. to be on the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, Crime Solvers, the Lewisian Shore. Also advertises many of these wanted individuals, not just from the sheriff's office, mm -hmm. but other police departments across the Willow Region Shore. Right. But if you want to get the money, if you want to get the pipeline for the reward, you need to contact the number, which is 410 548 1776. You call that number, answer the best part about it is you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning or get off work late, and you also realize somebody's going to answer your phone call at 3 a.m. So they're waiting to hear from you. All anonymous, make your money. All anonymous, 
They're so, ready to hear from you and take your information. So if you're looking for a little extra cash for Mother's Day, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, call me. Here's your shot. Crime solvers, <laughs> pays out for information that leads to an arrest, no questions asked. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, thank you very much. You're welcome. See, we'll get these back to you. And if you'd like more information on crime solvers, go to delmarvelife.com and you'll get all the information there.